Oh, we love throwing around words like mega this and giga that. When it comes to connecting devices to your Wi-Fi, it's helpful to take a step back and cover some of the basics. Chances are pretty good your router is spitting out two different flavors of wireless. So, which one should you use? Let's chat Wi-Fi frequency bands. and you don't want to lose that reviews.org signal, so make sure you're doing that voodoo you do so well with the subscribe button down below. See what I did there? Lose that signal? What's going on with your Wi-Fi? There's so much work and school at home activity happening these days, we're all trying to maximize our connectivity, and a lot of routers will try to make those connections as simple as possible, uh, but that might not always be optimal. If taking a second to fine tune and connect different devices in your home to different signals on your router might be a better solution for managing traffic. If your router is fairly recent, and I'm talking made within the last seven or eight years, chances are pretty good that it broadcasts at two separate frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. To somewhat oversimplify, lower frequency signals are better for range and for cutting through walls. Higher frequency signals are are better for speed. Just knowing that, I'm sure you could probably guess what some of my recommendations might be for all the internet connected devices in your home. But adding just a little more context to this, 2.4 gig became one of the most popular frequencies to use for consumer electronics. Bluetooth operates in this space, cordless telephones. I even have wireless production microphones that all try to use this air. It's a hearty signal to be sure. And if you're using any older computers or laptops, they might only be able to connect over 2.4 gig. But with all of those devices broadcasting on the same frequency, 5 gig helps us transmit above, find some cleaner air, and the faster frequency means faster speeds. The compromise is, of course, that signal doesn't broadcast as far, and it doesn't cut through walls as well. But Juan, when I fire up my fancy Wi-Fi router, I only see one signal to connect to. Well, random internet person, I'm glad you asked about that. This is a trend I'm not a huge fan of. I've played with a few newer fancy routers recently that tried to make the connection so simple, it kind of made everything a little harder to really set up. Now, some routers will send out a Wi-Fi SSID with an annoying string of letters and numbers, and you'd see two flavors ending in 2G and 5G. That could have been a little confusing, but you knew precisely what it was doing. To simplify this, some routers will use the same SSID for both frequencies and your device in that moment will decide which network to connect to. That sounds great in theory, but in practice can be frustrating. Our smart gadgets really aren't as smart as they think they are. If we're talking about home electronics like security cameras and smart thermostats, they probably don't need the speed and you'd probably want them to be on the signal that does the best job cutting through walls and reaching the edges of your Wi-Fi network. Conversely, getting your work done on a laptop or a tablet, especially in this age of video conferencing, you probably want the fastest connection with the least amount of interference. If your router is sending out one ID, I think it's worth going into the settings and splitting that up. This is going to look different on every router, but you should be able to name the 2.4 and 5 gig channels different names. And that way you know for certain which devices are on which frequencies. As a very general rule, how I set up my own home network, mission critical phones and computers, I reserve for 5 gig. Streaming TV sticks, smart accessories, guest computers and appliances, I keep on 2.4 gig. You'll have to decide in your own household whether game consoles are high priority devices. And of course, this will all be influenced by the kind of router you have and where it's placed in your home. But did you know that not all Wi-Fi is created equal? that there are different speeds and some of those wacky numbers and letters at the end of a router's name might mean even faster connections. We'll have to save that for a future video. Whew, I'm ending this on a cliffhanger here. So how do you divide up the Wi-Fi in your home? What gadgets do you use on 5 gig and which get moved down to 2.4? Drop us some comments down below. And of course, make sure you're staying up to date on all the happenings on this channel for smart homes, streaming services, smartphones, and more. For Reviews.org, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell. Thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos and subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you all on the next video.